because science is at the very heart of the modernizing world. And of course the irony is that in the scripture, science is a matter of worship and praise, not controversy and argument. And if you look, I'm from Oxford. You pass every day the place where you had the birthplace of modern science through the Royal Society. The Christian faith, or you might put it ethical monotheism, is the matrix without which there would have been no modern science. So it's ridiculous that Christians, either with a biblical view or historical understanding, are afraid of science. So this is very particularly an American problem. And I hope within the next generation we'll overcome it. Because the present moment is one in which we're pushed right back to square one. Whether it's the American first principles or Christian first principles, only the real thing will do. And many of the Christian movements have grown up, say, the 19th century or whatever. We've got to see these are movements from the 19th century. They are not biblical, not Christian, and it's time to say no to them and move on to a very constructive Christian position. And so we need to have no fear. The most common refrain in Scripture from beginning to end, have no fear. And yet not only the science issue, but many political issues are just driven by fear. And that's sub-Christian.